Hi everyone. In this video, I am discussing two important problems that are repeatedly asked in the previous question. In this video, I have made it for CW radar. In the next coming video, I will do it for FMCW radar also. Okay. So these two problems are especially asked on previous uh, in previous question papers on CW radar. Already you know what is the purpose of a basic standard CW radar. It is used to calculate the Doppler frequency shift from the moving target. It is used to calculate the Doppler frequency shift from the moving target. Thereby we can calculate the velocity of the moving target. Okay. So based on this information like Doppler frequency and relative velocity, here two problems are given. And you should know before going into the problems, you should know the relation between the Doppler frequency component and the relative velocity. Because the radar system is able to calculate the Doppler frequency information and you should be able to calculate what is the relative velocity. Okay. So Doppler frequency component FD is equal to what is the relation between these two? 2 VR by lambda. You should remember this formula when you go to the calculation of CW radar problems. Okay, now here it is asking one question very interesting. A police radar is operating at 8 gigahertz. So operating frequency is given 8 gigahertz. Next, measure CFD, Doppler frequency component FD is given as 17.88 hertz. From a car approaching the stationary police vehicle in 80 kilometers speed limit zone. So speed limit is there in that uh, uh, road that is 80 kilometers per hour speed limit zone what could be the police officer has to do so in order to in order to take any action on the driver first police officer has to know what is the relative speed that the torque uh, that the car is moving okay suppose if the car is moving beyond the speed limit then definitely he has to punish or find some impose uh, impose some fine on them otherwise he can leave him Okay, that only we can come to know when we calculate the relative velocity. So, how to calculate the relative velocity using this formula? Okay, so using that formula, we can rearrange the formula to calculate Vr. So, Vr is equal to lambda into Fd by lambda into Fd by 2. So, that is equal to lambda is nothing but C by F0. So, Fd by 2f0 that is equal to what is the c c is nothing but light velocity or we can say it as velocity of electromagnetic signal so 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second meters per second you should keep this point in mind here the velocity c is given in terms of meters per second into fd fd is nothing but 1788 h Units are very very important. If you forget the unit, your answer will not come. Into 2 by divided by 2 into F0. What is F0? F0 is the operating frequency of the police radar. How much it is? 8 gigahertz. 8 into 10 power 9. H. So hedges, hedges cancel. And the remaining values, if you simplify, you will get it as 33.5. And what is the unit we have left with? Meters per second. But the speed limit zone is given in terms of 80 kilometers per hour. Speed limit zone is given in terms of 80 kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour. But here we have got the value in terms of meters per second. So, you don't directly take the value 33.5 as it is less than 80. So, police cannot do anything. He can leave the particular vehicle, vehicle owner like a driver. But here you should observe that it is in meters per second and that is in kilometers per hour. So definitely there is a relation between the kilometers per hour to meters per second or meters per second to kilometers per hour. So we are now you need to convert that into kilometers per hour that is equal to meters per second value 33.5 which has to be multiplied by 18 by 5 18 by 5 so then you will get the value in terms of kilometers per hour so 
120.7 kilometers per hour. Now compare the value, it is 80 kilometers per hour and now it is 120 kilometers per hour. So definitely police officer has to catch that particular passenger, a particular driver and impose some fine. So you need to write as the vehicle is moving with higher velocity then the limit of the zone then the limit of the speed limit zone then the driver has to pay some fine so that fine or whatever the amount is going to be imposed by the policeman okay so in this way the such type of practical problems are going to be asked coming to the another uh, example so calculate the doppler frequency fd so you are going to calculate the what is the amount of doppler frequency fd for a stationary target why it is the written as stationary target i told you doppler frequency component is generated in two ways one is either the source is in motion or the observer is in motion okay any one could be a stationary object or both can be in motion okay that is in third case so stationary radar system is transmitting a 6 megahertz so fd is a, we need to calculate and f naught is nothing but 6 megahertz so that is nothing but 6 into 10 power 6 h frequency when a moving target approaching the radar with a radial velocity velocity is given vr is equal to 100 kilometers per hour 100 kilometers per hour see this 100 kilometers per hour but in the formula of fd we know fd is equal to 2 vr by lambda how can you write this 2 into vr we need to substitute divided by what is lambda c by f naught <coughs> c by f naught so 2 into f naught into vr by c but c what is the c we know c is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second here the c value is written in terms of meters per second Velocity of light or velocity of electromagnetic signal, we have with known it in terms of meters per second, but here the velocity is given in terms of kilometers per hour. Okay, so this value should be converted into, this value should be converted into meters per second by multiplying with 5 by 18. So if you multiply this with 5 by 18, then you will get the value as 27.7 meters per second okay so without converting the value from kilometers per hour to meters per second if you substitute again you will get different values definitely you will lose some marks you should be aware that there is a unit relation okay that means uh, uh, c must be and c and velocity both are must be in same units then only you can get the answer okay so 2 into what is f naught what is f naught 6 into 10 power 6 into what is vr vr is nothing but 27.7 meters per second divided by if you have any doubt while you are writing itself you better note down each and every unit then which is cancelling and which is left then you can come to know okay and divided by c c is nothing but 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second okay now here the velocity is in meters per second and uh, here this one 27.7 is in meters per second and this uh, 3 by 3 into 10 power 8 is also in meters per second so then definitely you will get the value in terms of hedges so meters per second meters per second gets cancelled only f naught is given f naught is in terms of hedges so 2 into that value in terms of only hedges so here the value is approximately 1.11 1.11 hedge fd 
very 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 small value okay always the doppler frequency shift is very small depending upon the velocity of the object okay generally it will not exceed the kilohertz range generally it is in the hedges to kilohertz okay so these are the two problems that are frequently and commonly asked in the main exams on cw radar thank you